Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly reading for November 13th through November 19th. This is a reading for the sign of Taurus. I have to remind you that this may not resonate with you. This is not a private reading. This is a general reading. This is intended to be a love reading. So if you're not looking for love, you might not want to watch it, okay? This is for the sign of Taurus. I have pre-shuffled this deck for you, and I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. Taurus, November 13th through November 19th. What do you have for the sign of Taurus regarding love? I will make sure this is zoomed in correctly when I get done laying out the cards. Okay. All right, so the basis of your reading is the Ten of Swords, okay? The basis for this week, okay? This is where the reading starts. There's a completion. I can see that there's a completion. There's an ending. Something is ending that needs to end so that something new can begin. And I know this sounds like a broken record, but the magician is a new door that's opening. Something that you have been manifesting. You may have been manifesting it without even knowing it. Many of you have been working on manifesting it. I feel like you're, uh, what's, what's, you're letting go of the past, okay? I see that perhaps there's been some regrets, but I think you're letting go of it. I think many of you have done a strong, um, or been through a strong period of healing. Okay, you have. You're letting go of some kind of obsession. All right, this is the obsession, this is the hurt, and this is you letting go of it and healing. Okay, so many of you are doing just that. You've worked on following your intuition, you are becoming um, more comfortable with following your inner guide. Okay, I feel like. You're, you're being very direct. This is a week of being very direct, not holding back. I think you're honoring your soul, and I think that you are vibrating very highly, okay? Direct, intuitive, listening to your inner guide, honoring your soul, okay? So, you are. Um, I feel like you're doing that because you know that a door needs to be closed. Oh my God. Whatever door this is, it wasn't filling your wishes. There was, you were looking for more. Okay. It wasn't honoring you. Whatever it was going on, perhaps in a past relationship, did not complement your beautiful soul. Okay. It did not. So I feel like something is, has crashed down or it will be crashing down. We do have the tower card. Something is going to break down that must, it must break down. And it may hurt, it may hurt, but it's a blessing in disguise, okay? It brings you truth, it brings you clarity. Whereas I think there was a time of not knowing. Now you're listening, now you're listening to your inner guide, now you're listening to your intuition, now you're honoring yourself. And once you be began to do that, or you begin to do that, um, something wonderful is going to happen. I see many of you are bringing peace back to your life. You're bringing peace and harmony. Your hopes and wishes are certainly coming to fruition with the Nine of Cups and the Star. Okay, they are. Things are starting to happen more positive for you because you've ended a cycle. Okay, you have. And it was a negative one with the Ten of Swords. You've ended a negative cycle. It was some kind of, um, you were stuck on some previous loss 
You were. And I think that many of you have just let it go. All right? You have. Perhaps a secret has been revealed, and it could have been a secret within yourself. Okay? A secret has been revealed that you've known about this whole time, by the way, and you finally acknowledged it. And many of you that are watching this are starting a brand new journey this week from ground zero. All right? With the Fool card. You have. You've moved away from despair and now you're bringing the peace back to your life you've moved away from insecurity and you're starting to feel more secure with who you are okay and because you are doing that you are vibrating on a very high level you know as above so below okay that's what the magician card means you when you raise your vibration and you think positive positive things come and that's what's happening so it for many of you you may have a new lover that comes into your life this week if you are single i mean this could even happen if you're coupled and i don't i don't mean to say that but the lover's card signifies that you had your heart set on somebody else or set in a certain direction Okay, but all of a sudden something comes in and the pull is so strong that you can't deny it. So for some of you, not everybody, because this is not a private reading. For some of you, a new love could enter the picture and it will be undeniable. Okay, there, it, you know, I'm going to tell you the signs here. Gemini is very prominent. Gemini, Gemini. Okay, and then we have Gemini here too. We also have Libra and Aquarius. We have Taurus and Taurus which is you. So we have Aquarius again. Um, that's what I see so far. But I think that many of you are starting to go through, or you have been through an awakening or an epiphany. All of a sudden, things have changed. You're no longer confused. The confusion is gone. And I feel like you've done that. Your beauty is coming back. All right? It's also a time of renewal for you. All right? I feel like your vibration is very high for many of you. You're vibrating very high and it's bringing in positive things. You have released the negative. This is a completion, the Ten of Swords. Whatever was over that you were still crying about, you've decided to let it go. You've, you're healing from it. You're no longer going to be obsessed. You're bringing the peace back. You're getting your life back on track. And because you're doing that, you are starting something new, a brand new journey that you've been manifesting whether you know it or not. I'm going to start shuffling the next deck. The universe is here to help you out with that tower card, okay? They're here to bring you your truth. And some truth, if it hasn't come out already, is going to come out this week, okay? It may hurt. It may hurt, but it's a blessing. It is a blessing. And for many of you, you could have somebody enter your life, and it's kind of like um, your knight in shining armor, okay? It's definitely a period of renewal, okay? I think it's your time. This week is, is, for some of you, it's your time. It's your time to manifest. It's your time to heal. It's your time to accept the truth. I think many of you have um, become more spiritual. You're really listening to your inner guide. You're following your intuition. You're working on healing. You're moving away from conflict. You're bringing peace back to your life. Your insecurities are starting to fade. You've taken the action to remove the negative forces within. Okay, you've taken the action to remove these negative forces. And because you're doing that, the lover's card is here. It's an unexpected choice in love. Okay, it's, it can also be a soulmate. All right. We have a lot of Taurus here. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Okay. This is the Hierophant, this is the High Priestess, and this is the Empress. All represented by Taurus. 
And they're represented by other signs too, but but these two, the high priest and the high priestess or, and the empress, they're all represented by Taurus, which is you. Okay? This is a Gemini, which Gemini is pretty uh, prominent, but Gemini, uh, Libra, and Aquarius. Lib Aquarius is pretty prominent too. Here's that five of pentacles again. Dif different deck, same card. Okay? Many of you have had this insecurity about you that is unnecessary and you are letting it go with this six of swords you're ready to take a risk you're ready to fly away from the insecurity you're ready to heal from the insecurity we're going to get back i have a problem with not dealing the cards and talking Ooh, a lot of you are confused confused all right so many of you are confused still about something i think there's been some kind of conflicts and that's just like i said the tower is here that's what this is the tower is here because i said something might happen that hurts something might happen that hurts and it's clear that that could be the case all right, something could happen that, that, that hurts, but it's a blessing in disguise, and you must have faith that it's a blessing, okay? This is the Hierophant. You have to remember to listen to your inner guide with the high priest. This is the high priest, and this is the high priestess. The, the message is clear. Listen to your inner guide. Follow your path. When something breaks down, remember to do what's right for you. Okay, don't do what's right for anybody else. Because when you do what's right for you, everything else falls into place. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Okay, with both of these cards here, I have to tell you, these two cards, many of you will be um, kind of like ascending to a new spiritual level. This is a very a spiritual reading with these two cards. So many of you are really, really opening up to your spiritual gifts. I don't know who this is for, but for some of you it is. Really use that to your advantage. Your intuition is spot on. Do not doubt yourself in any way. Whatever hardships you're going through are bringing you closer to your life's purpose. They're bringing you closer to discovering your your soul, you know what I mean, um, with the Empress card here and the Star card. It's a time of renewal. It's a time of rebirth. Look at it like that, okay? So whatever comes down, whatever comes crashing down, whatever ends, it's bringing you something much better. Don't deny it. Accept the truth. Many of you are going through an awakening. Some of you, it's a spiritual awakening, okay? And you may have confusion over it. Okay, you may. Some of you um, won't know what to do. So the, the thing is, is you will need to really dig deep and you will have to make a decision. The lover's card also signifies decisions and I see decisions in some other cards. You're going to have to make a decision and, the, and you make the decision based on your intuition, based on your path, based on you, okay? Because I feel like there's definitely going to be some conflicts. There's going to be some challenges that are, that are trying to make you, the lesson is, is that they're trying to make you honor yourself. Okay. So this is for November 13th through November 19th for the sign of Taurus. Something could happen that breaks down. A secret could come to light that hurts. Okay. Or something could actually break down and it's scary or it's a shock or it hurts but it's a blessing in disguise there could be somebody that comes to your rescue just saying there could be this because of this lover's card either way you definitely need to listen to your inner guide it is very evident in this reading okay follow your path and nobody else's okay that's what you need to do I feel like there will be a period of mentally restlessness. You know, you're going to feel restless mentally. You're going to be confused. The thing that you need to do when that happens is be just. Be honest with yourself. 
okay? You may need to step back and observe the situation before you make a decision, all right? Try not to be spiteful. Some, but this is a spiteful energy, so perhaps some spitefulness might come into play, whether it's you or another person. I'm just saying, this is probably going to happen for somebody. Somebody may lie to you, okay? And you may be confused. And your inner guide may say, you know, I know this isn't true. I know it's not true. But then again, you, you don't, you're, that's where the confusion comes in. You know it isn't true, but somebody's saying it and they're adamant that it's true. And the fact of the matter is, perhaps it's a lesson and it's saying, okay, are you ready to close this door? Okay, you've given it all you, you can. You're feeling like you can't do it anymore. And you hate to walk away from this person, but I really feel like many of you might need to walk away from somebody. And that could be what the breakdown is. Something is going to hurt. And I'm sorry to bring you that news, but you gotta look at it this way. You gotta look at it with faith, okay? It's with, you do, this is faith and this is faith. This is the fool and this is the hero font. You gotta look at it like, this is going to bring me something new. It is a time of renewal, no doubt about it. Believe it or not, even if it hurts, it leads to wish fulfillment with the nine of cups and the star. It's here. It leads to healing. And I think that if this hasn't happened already, many of you are already doing that. Okay? I feel like peace and harmony are coming back to your life. Um, and you could have somebody that comes to your rescue. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Gemini multiple times. We have Aquarius multiple times. We have... Um, Taurus, quite a bit. Could be another Taurus you're dealing with. I just need to remind you guys that whatever breaks down, whatever false foundation comes crashing down, think of it like a gift. Believe it. Think of it like a gift. And remember to follow your own path. Accept it as the truth. All right, listen to your inner guide. Your inner guide is telling you the truth, okay? Your own insecurities, that's all they are is unnecessary insecurities. I think many of you have these insecurities within you that are um, pretty prominent, okay? There's some prominent insecurities that bring you confusion, but you have the inner knowing you do. You know what you need to do. Let that inner um, guidance over override your insecurities. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to get you some of these angel romance cards because this is a love reading. I feel like um, there, for many of you there is potential. For a new love to enter your life okay by the end of this week potential remember this this is not a private reading it's not for everybody it's for somebody who is watching this first card is flirt. Extend your light-hearted energies to others. This is from the Angel Romance deck. Flirt. You know, we were talking about raising vibrations earlier. And this doesn't mean, if I don't, this means to flirt with anybody. And it's not, it really shouldn't be flirt. It should be something about, it should say, raise your vibration. <laughs> Extend your light-hearted energy to others. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. Do you understand what I'm saying? Extend your light-hearted energy to others. When you do that, your vibration raises. And this is anybody. Doesn't matter their gender. Doesn't mean that you have to be in love with them. The more you extend your light-hearted energy to others, the higher your vibration raises and the quicker your wishes will be fulfilled. 
The next card is pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. And this is perfect. The red flags are being shown to you with this high priestess and this high priest. They are. And they, some, this person, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, could be prominent in your week. Pay attention. Maybe that's the person that's lying or something. I don't know. Because this is for hundreds and thousands of people. Could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Because there, there's one on each side. Okay. So I just want to let you know that you seriously, the red flags are within your intuition. You know what they are. Pay attention to them. Do not de deny your inner knowing. Okay. The next card, new love. <laughs> new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Go for it. Go for it. It's time to take a risk with this fool card. Take a risk. Let go of your insecurities. Same card right here, insecurities. Let them go. They're, they're, it's unnecessary. Unnecessary worry. Let that shit go. A new person has stirred your romantic fear feelings. Take a risk. Do it. Could be a soulmate. This can also be a soulmate connection, this lover's card. Do it. Have faith. Okay. Above all this week, November 13th through November 19th for the sign of Taurus, the main message is to listen to your inner guide and follow your path. Believe in yourself. Believe in the messages you're healing. Healing. Yeah, healing. Believe in the messages you are hearing. And that's when you heal. That's why that came out. Oh my goodness. When you really believe in yourself, you're healing. Oh, I love you guys. I do, I do. Talking to my partners up above. When I say that, they help me with my words constantly. So anyway, Taurus, this is what I have for you. Um, November 13th through November 19th. Remember, time is fluid. This could have happened last week. It could be happening this week. It could be happening next week. And this may not be for you because this is not a private reading. This is a general reading. Talk to you later.